Good afternoon. Today, we have a lot of fun stuff planned. Yeah, we're gonna do a few things. So in one of the last videos, we talked about how we wanted to get Jackson some new shoes. We wanted to find him some Vans and the sizing is really weird online. So we need to actually go get them in person, I think. Right. And you guys said, oh, go to the outlet. And we were like, oh yeah. Yeah. Smart. So we're doing that. We're gonna go to the Vans outlet, see if we can find some nice cheap Vans for him. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have a look around the outlet a little bit more too. I don't know what the crowd level is gonna be like there. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I also wanted to pop in the uh, Disney outlet if we can. Right. We'll see how that like looks. It might be too crowded. Right. And then later we're going out to Disney Springs. Hopefully we're going to try a hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. <laughs> the secret menu item at the hot diggity dogs food truck. I got, I don't know how many messages you got, but I literally got like a hundred messages that were like, I don't know if you saw this. I don't know if you saw this. I don't know if you saw this. So thank you guys so much for sending me all the messages and letting us know because we're not on TikTok. So I didn't know about it yeah. until you guys were like, hey, look at this. The only problem is the food truck area opens at a strange time. I think it's at five. Oh yeah. So we uh, have dinner reservations at six. So I think we're going to try to get the hot dog before dinner. Um, just like an appetizer. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> so let's head to the outlet now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since we've been here. And anybody that's curious, these are the outlets on Vineland. The Orlando premium outlets on Vineland are the ones that we prefer to go to. It does look like it might be kind of busy today though. They do have some healthy shopper guidelines. Everybody has to wear a mask. Got to maintain physical distancing. If it's busy, come back later and make sure you wash your hands and cough and sneeze in your elbow. And then wash your hands with, uh, use sanitizer as often as possible. Lots and lots of different stores here. Jen was excited for Aldo. They, that wasn't here last time we were here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this one's uh, Zoomies and they're all about Dragon Ball Z in here, it looks like. <laughs> What's the deal? Buy one, get one 50% off. Ooh. We're going to the van store. All right, buddy, this is what we're looking for for you. These say Harry Potter on them. Is this Harry Potter? I don't know if that actually is Harry Potter. Is it just fun? very shiny? I think we have to see what size he is first. I think he's a four and a half. So what are, these are a four and a half right here. So okay, let's so we'll try them on him. These look kind of big. Did you see the shoes that he's wearing? They're huge. <laughs> let's see, buddy. They're smaller than the ones that he's wearing. Oh, they do look smaller. So I wonder if he'd be a five. No. Hold the, the old shoe, Hold buddy. The old one. He's like, but this one has two Velcros. Right? You excited for shoes, buddy? All right, buddy, let's see if these shoes fit you. So we had to go up to a size five. Yeah. I'm glad that we came in the store, though, because I you thought he was a four and a half. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. Because I thought he was going to be a four and a half. And I think he's got a bigger foot than we think. I think or the so. vans might just like run a little bit. Okay, feel that. Okay, it's good. So I think he's a five. All right, here's the two pairs that we got. We got a black pair. And then the yeah. same pair in like a mustard yellow. Yeah, they're gonna be cool. So they're buy one, get one half off. So we're gonna get this pair for 10 bucks. Pretty nice. Yeah. So as we're walking around, we're finding that a lot of the stores are limiting capacity. So you might have to wait a little bit to get into a store. Yeah, so we went into Vans and I feel like there was only four groups in there. Yeah. So it was very, very low capacity in the van store. They're small stores, so it makes sense, but I like that they're doing that. Oh, yeah. We're gonna stop inside Coach because sometimes they have Disney collabs. So we'll see if they've got anything in this. This is the outlet store, so I'm not thinking that they will, but we'll find out. So there was an employee waiting right as soon as we entered the door. We said, do you guys have any Disney stuff? She said, not right now. She said it might be coming in March though. But you know what's right over here? Speaking of Disney, the character outlet is right there. So let's see what the line is like, because I have a feeling there is a line. Yeah, I can see, I think, over there. Oh, there's a virtual queue to get into the character outlet. Line over there. Okay, I'm gonna go ask them how long it is. What'd they say? Two hours. Two hours? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be here for two hours. I don't think so. So maybe we'll come another day and try it. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> you know what's new that we haven't been into yet? What? The Gucci outlet. Oh yeah, let's go look. <laughs> there's a Carter's Babies and Kids store. A lot of the clothes Cute. we get for Jackson is for Carter's. It's from really Carter's. funny though, like how our outlet like plans have changed. Right? We never came in these stores before. I know. All right, I'm gonna say there's no dinosaur that knows how to roller skate. Out at Disney Springs, there was a place that was called Vinnie Camuto's. And we, or was it called Vincent Camuto? It was called Vincent Camuto, not yeah. Vinnie. Sorry, I used to call it Vinnie C's. It was, it was only there for like like a month. It closed so fast. Yeah, now it's, now what is it? It's the coach store. Yeah. But now there, there's this is another version of Vincent Camuto. It's Vince. I wish they called it Vinny though. There it is, the Gucci store. There's a little bit of a line. I wonder how long the wait is. 
Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Well, we decided not to wait for Gucci. We'll come back a different day. I do. And we'll I just go into see, Gucci. Well, and I just want to see, like, what do they have in there? Right? We kind of looked inside a little bit. It looks like they got, like, bags and wallets. But I wanted to go further back in because I saw whole outfits back there. Yeah, so I want to see what kind of... Do they have any of the Mickey stuff? Right? I, would I feel be, like that all sold out, though. I would be upset. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they've got for babies in here at Ralph Lauren. Do they have any baby stuff? So some of the outlets are interesting because they're is just normal price stuff in say this store but then there's just like one small section of stuff that's on clearance and for the most part everything was just regular price in there but even the clearance stuff we saw a little sweater that was still at 70 dollars and i was like right? wow okay <laughs> we we're just passing by the zales outlet and they have the enchanted disney fine jewelry looks real fancy <laughs> well look there's like a hidden mickey right there Oh, that's fun. Yeah. But of diamonds. Oh, the line for Gucci died down. We're gonna go inside. I'll be honest, you guys wanna know what my style is? If I could wear anything, I would be dressed as a couch all day long. So we looked through the Gucci store, we found one Disney thing, and that was the same sweater that I have, the, that print on a scarf. But I don't know how discounted the prices really were. It was $2.90 is what he said, right? How much was the scarf originally? I don't know. I found one of the scarves that's either aftermarket like a knockoff or uh, second hand and it's selling for $810. So, all right, we made it to Disney Springs. We're here. We're here. We're gonna try to get this hot dog. So you brought up a really good point. We had talked about doing a video where we made all of the hot dogs from Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Cause he eats ridiculous hot dogs. Like peanut butter and marshmallow and like. Peanut uh, butter and jelly. Yeah, he had the peanut butter, which is the one we're having today. So we're kind of making that video thanks to TikTok. Yeah. We're doing it. Right? Well, we're starting it. We're starting it. Yeah. So we're headed over to Hot Diggity Dogs, and then we have to sing to them. Oh, do you? That's how you order it, yeah. I thought you just said I saw it on TikTok. No, you have to say, Hot Dog, Hot Dog, Hot Diggity Dog. Are you sure? Yes. Are you just, I feel like no. you're pranking me. I'll do it. It's called the King Dog. Is it? Yeah, when I just watched the TikTok, and it said it's called the King Dog. You just watched the TikTok? Yeah. So you know that you have to say those words. They didn't know that. I didn't see that. Uh, that's <laughs> what it is. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's a busy night and it's only gonna get busier from here. This is where we're headed to over here to the food truck section. It's actually right next to the Starbucks. And the Four Rivers Cantina is a good food truck, but we're going to the Hot Diggity Dog food truck. Oh, there's a DJ out here and everything. Wow. This is where we're going to Hot Diggity Dog. They actually have two food trucks over here that are specifically Disney food trucks, as well as the Four Rivers Barbacoa food truck over here. They have the Hot Diggity Dogs, and you can see they do not have the King Dog on there. That's a secret one. And then they also have the Mac and Cheese food truck. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? We're gonna order the secret hot dog and we're gonna have him sing it. You ready? Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. We've got ears, it's time to cheer. So stand up, sit down, <laughs> and hear good. me shout. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yay! Yeah. You did it! All right, we got our hot dog. I'll tell you more about it once we get away from all this loud music, but uh, it looks very interesting. And then we even got some macaroni and cheese bites. So here it is, the secret hot dog at Hot Diggity Dogs. This is an all beef hot dog with French toast batter dipped and cereal crusted hot dog bun, spicy peanut butter spread, banana honey mustard, chipotle berry preserve, and billionaire's bacon. All right, here we go. Oh, I just had some of the, some of the jam. It's pretty spicy. It's not bad. There's definitely a lot of flavors going on there, but they kind of all go well together. It kind of like gets rid of the hot dog flavor altogether. Like there's not very much hot dog in there uh -huh. and it's spicy. I would order this again. Would you? Yeah. Oh. I'm kind of blown away. Yeah. I think you'll actually really like this because it's spicy. Yeah. Just had some of the bacon on its own. I don't know why it's called Billionaire's Bacon. Because it's um, like candied and then also cured with cayenne pepper. Oh, it's supposed to be a spicy bacon. Okay. So it had a, like a spicy Thai peanut, like a spicy Thai peanut sauce, which actually sounds really delicious. I love that. Um, let me, I'm gonna turn this bacon over a little bit so I can kind of get a little bite of everything. Did you save me some of the mac and cheese? Mm. <laughs> um, I really like this. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> like how silly is that? I didn't think that it was gonna be this good. 
Right? Um, I love, I think it's the peanut sauce for me. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be good, but I think it's good. <laughs> I love it. Oh. You're right, you don't really get a lot of the hot dog flavor. I think it's the peanut sauce. And then there's like this little bit of, of cinnamon in there from like the can from the, the cereal. Yeah. I'm gonna take one more bite. It's so good, isn't it? Buddy, I wish this wasn't spicy. I that really was one more bite for science. This is a great hot dog. Also, the um the banana honey mustard sounded like it was gonna be really gross, but it works. It's fantastic. Every yeah. single aspect of that is fantastic. Wow. I think you should try this. Yeah. It's very messy. Like when I asked the um the chefs that were making these. I said, um, you know, have you had it? What did you think of it? And she said, I did have it, and I like all of the components. It's just very messy. And she was not wrong. It is yeah. very, very messy. So just be ready for that. Well, what did you think of those, uh, the mac and cheese bites? Oh, those were delicious. They were a little bit too salty. I think he like added some salt to them, but they were they were really really nice. This is so good. Isn't it? Yeah. Why is this so good? I don't know. Mm. All right, I'm finishing it off. This was definitely like. A number one hot dog. This is probably the best hot dog I've had on Disney property. Like, no doubt about it. This is, I, I eat a hot dog a day for all of December, and this is better than all of those. All right, now that we're done with first dinner, where are we going for second dinner? <laughs> we're meeting with some friends. We're going to Boathouse. You are meeting with some friends to go to Boathouse. Yeah, so I'm excited, because I don't, have they been here before? No, I don't think so. so that's exciting. We get to show them how wonderful the Boathouse is. Oh yeah, strawberry shortcake, bombolino. Bombolito. Looks really good. Is it donuts? Yeah. Ooh. So this guy, we've already ordered his food. We're at Boathouse now. And we're actually in like a very secluded corner of it. No, yeah. We're like literally right next to the wall. This is great. But look what you got, buddy. You got a little car here full of salmon. You want to eat it? Okay, this looks like a bad idea. All right, I got the filet and it comes with some potatoes. And Jen got the grouper. Oh, so this was um, pan-roasted grouper with kale, new potatoes, red onions, mushrooms, and roasted red peppers with an orange butter sauce. And then maybe later we'll put the lime in the coconut. I know. <laughs> this playlist is so funny. Buddy, do you love your shoes? Did you love Boathouse? It's one of your favorite restaurants. You had your salmon. It was so yummy. Oh, I have to say, the grouper, it was delicious. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the orange chili sauce, but it was so good. Yeah? I loved it. Admittedly, I thought it was gonna be much more crowded out here. Should we go see what the wait time is for Gideon's? Yeah, let's just check. Surprise, we're going into Gideon's. I don't know what's going on. They said they're still trying to figure out, like they're working on their lights. And it kind of looks like they're having, they have a show light. Like maybe something is supposed to happen, like some sort of lighting effect. I don't know if I showed the different cakes last time. This is cookies and cream. This one is peanut butter and banana. Oh yeah. And this one's the red velvet cake. All right, so we are back home. We are. Uh, the Gideon's was a surprise. So I just walked up at the end of the night and I was like, hey, how long is the wait? And they're like, actually we're closed. Like we closed down the virtual queue for the night, but it's been really slow like right now. So if you just want to get in line, go ahead. Yeah, that was a very nice surprise. Yeah, so we just jumped in line and we've only waited like 15 minutes. Well, and we were there, like we said, we went to dinner. Um, we met up with some friends and had dinner with them and they were gonna go to Gideon's. So it was nice that they got to be able to like check it out too. Yeah, the original plan was to go over and check out the line at Amaretz because they have the WandaVision petite cake. Yeah. Which looks like a little old school TV. It looks really cool, but I'll be honest, those petite cakes are kind of expensive and this is a lot of fondant. Yeah. And a lot of like icing and very little actual cake. So I feel like it's not going to be worth the price, but it looks so cool. Right. So. So we were just like, oh, well, let's go to see Emirates, but like we're going to pass by Gideon. So let's ask. Really let's quick. just see. We just wanted to see how long the wait was, which we never found out how long the wait was. Well, it was closed. <laughs> right. But I'm, I'm saying like, I wish I wanted, I wanted to find out like what was the top wait time. You know what I mean? Because like the first day, their like grand opening day, it was 11 hours. So I just wondered like how, how much did it top out at today? Right. You know, but we did get 
um, four cookies. So we got the pistachio cookie, the pistachio toffee cookie. Yeah. We which, each got one. By the way, that is my favorite cookie from Gideon's. Which I'm so surprised about that. I know. Because you don't even like toffee. I don't like toffee, but that yeah. cookie is so good. And then their special cookie right now is called the coffee toffee, which is this one right here. They had two left, so I got one. Oh, it smells Doesn't like coffee. It, it smells so good. So I wanted to try that um, really quick. Let's see. It doesn't taste like overly like coffee. What? Does it, it tastes do? a lot like coffee, yeah. Does it? Maybe I didn't. Let me take one more bite. For science. Yeah, it tastes like a... Uh... It was like a coffee. They said, they also said the first time that we went in there, they were, they had another coffee something or other. Mm, the, the Christmas one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that uses decaf coffee. So I'm assuming that this one also used decaf coffee. I don't know. I didn't ask. It tastes so good. It's really good. Wow. They salt their cookies so perfectly. Yeah. I love the, um, the chocolate and salt, like flavor. Delicious. It's very good. The and Gideons then, are like the best cookies I've ever had. They really are. Like they're so, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, they're overhyped. They're not. They're delicious. Yeah. <laughs> they're so good. Um, I wouldn't wait 11 hours for one. Well, I would uh, in a virtual queue if you're like, if you're here on vacation and you like go in the morning and you put mm -hmm. your name on, they're like, it'll be 11 hours. And be like, okay, well, I guess I'll like go get lunch at Disney Springs and then go hang out by the pool for a little bit. And then come back yeah like ten and a half hours later I guess yeah virtual queue does make it easier to like you don't to have wait. to stay at Disney Springs that's very true you just go wherever you want to <laughs> they're gonna text you when it's time right yeah that's true um, so they're delicious I love them we also got a chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. um, and I'll link the video down below where we had the Gideon's cookies when they've soft opened um, their cookies are delicious highly yeah. recommend it very good. I would like to go for their hot cookie hour or warm cookie hour. Yeah. I want to do that. And I have no idea when that is. I don't either. I think it's like a surprise. We should have asked. Oh yeah, we had I think I feel like we were in such a rush cuz we're like we didn't think we were going to go to Gideon's. So, right. we didn't ask any questions. Next time we go, we'll ask some questions. We did ask one question. Wow. We said, "What's the secret cake of the day?" Oh yeah. And they said, "You need to follow him on Instagram." <laughs> yeah. And they will give out a secret password if there's a secret cake of the day so next time we go we will check follow, instagram. yeah we'll check instagram and see what the secret cake of the day is yeah i do have to say the surprise of the day that hot dog the hot dog was so good like i've eaten a lot of hot dogs um. and like and and a, no human should eat the amount of hot dogs that i've eaten i'm gonna link our um 12 days of christmas hot dogs video you literally had for 12 days, you had 12 different hot dogs with 12 different toppings. And then on the 12th day, which was Christmas, you had, what was it? Two foot long hot dog? A two foot long hot dog. <laughs> which is ridiculous. By the way, I also, on National Hot Dog Day one year, mm -hmm. decided I'm going to attempt to eat four feet of hot dog. Oh, because it was, we wanted to see who had the better hot dog, Universal or Disney. Because Universal at hot dog hall of fame just sells a two foot long hot dog right. year round mm -hmm. but disney at casey's for hot dog national hot dog day or whatever it was <laughs> yeah. and had a specific two foot long hot dog mm -hmm. so i think i made it about three feet through all of it i it, you have eaten too many hot dogs i think in your mm -hmm. life <laughs> but this one that i ate today i will eat again i really am i want to order it again it was so good it was so good i don't know it I'm still shocked about it. Yeah. And thank you again to everybody who messaged us. Tim said that he got a ton of messages too. I'm telling you, I literally, like literally got like a hundred messages of people like, did you see this hot dog? <laughs> so thank you so much for thinking of us. And um, I'm glad that you guys did that because then we had the best hot dog in the world. Yeah. So. I hope everybody else goes and tries it. And I hope it lives up to the hype that we're like presenting it with. Because it was very good to us. It was. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I think for me, and I think I said this, but I can't remember. It was the the Thai peanut butter sauce. Yeah. The Thai peanut sauce. So good. For um, me, it was everything. <laughs> it was all of it together was really good. I will say that if you're not a fan of spicy stuff, it did have a little bit of a kick. Not like, oh, yeah. it wasn't overly spicy or anything, no. but like it had a little kick. It did, but yeah. you should try it. See for yourself. Go and eat a hot dog. <laughs>
but all in all, it was a good day. The outlets were a little bit more crowded than I thought they were. I think I'd like to go back on like a Wednesday or something like that and see like in the morning. Right. Yeah. I think that it was also the time of day that we went. I think if we had gone a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. maybe that would have made it a little different. Yeah. I'm not sure. I was really shocked that the Disney store had a two hour long virtual queue. Right. I just like that. I couldn't believe that pretty intense i don't know that we're like ever going to go back to the disney outlet store again i wonder what the other um, uh, outlet mall looks like we'll have to go there yeah yeah we should go and check it out because that one was always less popular that's true yeah i feel like that disney store specifically didn't have as good of like merchandise right so but we haven't been in so such a long time we'll have to go check it out i'll actually leave a link down below of our disney outlet shopping videos so you can get an idea of like the kinds of things that they do sell and what the store looks like and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, we always had a good time shopping there. Yeah. So, and you can get some really good deals. Really good deals. Yeah. And we got Jackson his little, his little big boy shoes today. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. I know, they were so cute. And they were buy one, get one half off. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we'd like to shine a spotlight on is the Zebra Coalition of Orlando. And the cool thing about the Zebra Coalition of Orlando is that during Pride Month at Universal Orlando, they were selling the Love is Universal merchandise, which we bought some stuff from. I have a t-shirt, we got a, a Tervis tumbler. We even got Jackson a shirt as well, but it's too big for him because they didn't have infant sizes. So he'll wear that one day in the future. But um, a portion of the proceeds from that whole collection went to the Zebra Coalition. And the Zebra Coalition is a network of organizations that provide services to the LGBTQ plus community. It assists young people facing homelessness, bullying, isolation from their families. They also help uh, anybody in the community who's dealing with physical abuse or if they're dealing with drug abuse. They have individualized programs that help to guide them through recovery, but also help them with just stability in their life. And so, the thing that I thought was really interesting about the Love is Universal merchandise is that they were able to raise $21,000 for the Zebra Coalition. From So if any of you bought anything from that collection, you were part of that donation, which I think is really cool. Wow. So yeah, so $21,000 was raised through, through last year's um, collection, the Love is Universal collection. So I just thought that was really awesome. The Zebra Coalition is doing really great work. And although they are an Orlando-based organization, I'm sure there's an organization in your area, if you're not from Orlando, that is probably doing great work just like the Zebra Coalition is doing. So if that's something that you're interested in and you wanna help out and you want to see how you can help your community, I would just kind of like look and see if there's anything like the Zebra Coalition in your area. But um, we just wanted to say thank you to the Zebra Coalition for the work that they're doing. It's awesome. But I will leave a link in the description down below if you want to learn more about the Zebra Coalition and the impact that they are having on our community. Yeah, and thank you for watching this video.